Now in order to make some really great roasted Brussels sprouts, the first thing you have to do is get some good Brussels sprouts. And if you don't buy Brussels sprouts much, there's an easy way to tell if they're good. You want firm without a bunch of wrinkled leaves. See, these are nice and firm. And you want to get them all about the same size. Um, these actually are particularly large. Uh, just the set I happen to get. Uh, I can buy them individually at my store, so that's what I do. I don't do, usually buy them in the little bags because you can't pick the good ones. You always have a few that are wrinkly and ugly. <laughs> but uh, the bad ones are fine. It's just that do your best to get all the same size. Now this is going to be enough for two servings. And when I roast Brussels sprouts, for me, I always do enough for two servings. They're so good and they're just as good um, left over as they are the first time around. So let me show you how we prepare these. Now into a zip top bag, we're going to put one quarter cup of good olive oil. And we're going to add to that our house seasoning. That's half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Add that to your bag. Now I will take this and kind of squish it around, kind of want that to dissolve. And so there's not a bunch of lumps and it's really well distributed in your bag. Okay? Now as I'm chopping these Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna be putting them in this bag and just so my bag stands up and I don't lose my olive oil mixture, I usually set it up in a uh, measuring cup like this, a big measuring cup or a bowl, just so uh, it's easier. Now you're going to take your Brussels sprouts and you're going to remove any leaves that don't look great on the outside. And you're going to cut off this little bottom right here. Just like that. Now if you have small Brussels sprouts, uh, you can just cut them in half, but these are pretty large, so I'm going to cut them into quarters. And as I go, I'm going to add these to the bag. Now you're going to take them and squish them all around so everything gets a little bit of that seasoning and olive oil. It's really important. Um, if you have really big Brussels sprouts like this, you might want to add just a little bit more olive oil than the quarter cup. But if they're small, you don't need to add any more than that. It's just up to you. You can kind of judge for yourself. I think this is going to be good for mine though. Now you're going to have a uh, cookie sheet or a baking pan, and I cover mine with foil, um, and you're going to dump them right out on this sheet. And I like to ensure all of mine are turned at least one side down. If I cut them in half, I turn them the cut side down so the bottom gets nice and crispy. Um, at least that's what I tell people, but actually I'm probably just a little OCD about that, so, but I like them all turned cut side down. Don't worry about these little leaves, they will crisp up and be delicious. Now you can see, these. this actually makes quite a bit depending on the size of your Brussels sprouts. So if you're wanting to just cook a little bit, be sure and get small Brussels sprouts, because you see how much this makes, it's actually quite a bit. Now I like mine done about this much. You can definitely get them uh, a little bit darker. If you like yours a little bit more crispy, that's something you can uh, try out for yourself. And of course the bigger Brussels sprouts are gonna take a little bit longer to cook. Uh, and the smaller ones are gonna be fast. You've gotta be really careful and watch them. But this is about uh, the way I like mine done, about at this level. And these little leaves over here that are all crunchy and crispy, those are delicious. Now you have a delicious roasted Brussels sprouts. Mmm.